Today, we're building a cedar bark fence inside Shunkoi, which is a sub-temple of Myoshinji. The current fence is not a great match for the serene temple environment, so we will cover it with cedar bark to make an entirely new aesthetic.
cedar bark fences are made from two layers. Over time, the cedar bark will slowly crack and stretch and spread out. But it's designed in two layers, so even if the top layer stretches and cracks, you'll still only see the bottom layer intact, and you won't be able to see the original fence underneath. With small touches like this, you can use the cedar bark fence for much longer without having to replace it. The second layer of cedar bark is placed one sheet at a time, slightly overlapping one another. By layering the cedar bark like this, you won't be able to see the joints when you enter the temple from this direction, and the whole wall will appear seamless. So when it's complete, it will appear to be just a single sheet of cedar bark. Also, we're only fastening the cedar bark on a single edge. Since cedar bark is organic, it still continues to stretch and shrink according to the weather or temperature or humidity. If we were to fasten both sides of the sheet, the cedar bark would tear and become damaged much more quickly. In the details of the design of this fence, we can see the deep consideration and long experience of the craftsmen who work with natural materials like cedar bark.